Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Naomi T. Grant. I'm a New York City freelance makeup artist as well as a mother. So if you guys are interested in content about makeup, motherhood, and fashion, make sure that you guys subscribe. In today's video, I'm going to be putting together the Ikea Lenart drawer unit. It's an affordable way to store your makeup. They're each only $14, and I'll be putting together three. If you guys are interested in seeing how I put this together and store my makeup, stay tuned. Okay guys, watch me get handy. This is the third one that I was actually putting together, so I didn't need to look at the instructions. This really goes to show how easy this piece was to put together. This was one of the easiest IKEA things that I put together in my life. I didn't even use the instructions at this point. So it comes with a lot of different metal bars and then it comes with the nails. So it has like a few classic metal nails and then some white little tacks that you're going to use you'll see it towards the end that you use to put the drawers together itself like the drawers that you put in and out of the piece right now i'm basically assembling um the piece that the drawers are going to slide into so i'm taking two of these racks and then i'm using these two bars to basically put them together this part can be a little tricky because they're not the same height one side is meant for you to put wheels on the bottom and the other is not. So once you kind of get it together and you put two nails in, it pretty much stands up by itself and it's a lot easier after that. I decided to use an electrical drill because it just was so much easier, but prior to that I was using my classic screw. So if you don't have a drill, electrical drill, it's totally fine. It's just using the electrical drill saves so much time. This part was actually kind of tricky too because as you can see, it doesn't line up properly. So lining up the first one and drilling it in can be kind of tricky, but once you get it, it's pretty much set. And that really is the tone for putting this whole thing together because it isn't wood, it is like a bendable, very bendable metal. So things kind of seem like it's not gonna feel fit, but once you start drilling it together, it just lines up perfectly. So. I'm just continuing putting each drill on each side. Yeah, I had a little issue with this one, but they're really not difficult to do. You just have to make sure everything's lined up properly. Then you're going to put this X on the back. This is basically what's gonna help the drills from basically going through the other side. This is the backing part of the drill itself. And then you do the same, put these metal drills, the, the metal nails into the piece. Just drilling it in with my electrical drill. Now I am putting the wheels on the bottom of the back part. There are wheels in the back. I don't feel like they work that well but it's nice to know that they have wheels. If you tilt it, it's easy to move back and forth, but it is just staying underneath my desk, so it's, I'm not really gonna use it that much, but that's just my opinion on it. Not the best wheels. Now, these are the little white tacks I was telling you guys about earlier. You're gonna just take these little tacks and push it through the two holes. I am putting the whole piece of the drawer together, and it's super, super easy. You don't have to worry about drilling anything else. And once it's in, it's in. It kind of expands once you put the little tack in and expands like a flower. <laughs> That's like the best way that I can think of to describe it. And it locks it in place so that you don't have to worry about it popping out. In fact, there were times when I tried to put it in and I didn't put it all the way in both holes. And I needed to take like a nail or a drill or something like that to push it out of the other side because once it's in, it locks in. So it's very, very sturdy. And like I said earlier, these are bendable metal. So as you can see, I had to bend it, basically fold it together to turn into this rectangular cube draw situation. And it's very easy to do, but because it is a bendable metal, you have to be very, very careful that you're bending it and basically folding it properly or else it's going to seem a little lopsided. But once you put the tacks and all the drills in and all the nails in, everything just goes together seamlessly. So 
So now I am just going to put each drawer into each little slot. See, it's so easy. It really is not a difficult thing to put together. You don't need a lot of fancy things to put it together. And there we go. Completed. All right, so now that I have moved my old containers, I'm gonna start off by emptying out the old ones and filling it up with these new ones. So I just, I think that the first one should be, I wanna kinda of put it in order from the steps of how I apply my makeup. So I really wanna focus the skincare here, complexion here, and then, um, like eyeshadows and like finishing powders and stuff here because that's usually the way that I would apply my makeup so this is maybe I'll start with like cleansers I really don't have as much skincare as I would like right now I really feel like I'm lacking in this department and finally taking out of this clear storage bin and seeing it, having everything displayed this way is really what's going to help me realize what I need and I'll be able to replenish what's missing from my makeup collection. Okay, so as you can see, Jaden is currently up, so when he just wakes up from a nap, he just wants to be right on me. But I realized I have other areas that I saw skincare, like I had these Allure beauty boxes that I, I believe I actually did a review on these on my website, but I kind of kept them in there because I don't think I finished taking photos of it. Fast forward three months later, it needs a home because I'm clearly not going to, um, create content around this old box so these are oils i i do intend on going back in and organizing them further but my first step is to kind of just get them out of these random places and find a home for it and then organize it further from there All right guys, so this is the finished product. This is how it looks like on top of the drawers because you can see I do have space in between the top of the drawers and my desk. I decided to put my eyeshadow palettes that I didn't quite have a place for yet because it is kind of big. Some of those products I actually do want to get rid of and when I get shelving for this room, I'm gonna get like a small 
little shelf to put here I'll put some eyeshadows like bigger eyeshadow palettes on there along with some books so I just wanted to show you again how I decided to organize everything so this first one here is all of my skincare the top is some of cleansing and mask this one is like serums moisturizers eye creams and down below is all of my sponges and this is actually when I want to do swatches on my Instagram like for photos and stuff like that um, also some tools to clean my brushes and clean my sponges are going to be here I'm gonna find another place for this I think I want to put them either in my closet or in my um, bathroom but for now that's where I'm gonna put it here are all my complexion products my setting sprays my setting powders I mean not powder sorry setting sprays primers foundations and concealers are here this looks a little bit more organized, but I do want to have dividers because it'll help it stay in place just in case I do take a few products out at one time and then it kind of gets all over the place. But this is my setting powders, pressed powders, blushes, and some liquid highlighters. All right, and in the last set of shelves, so these are my highlighters. This is a spray to be used to enhance your highlighter, so all highlighter related products here. Um, here are some of my smaller eyeshadows. I find that I reach for these a lot and there's some that I want to reach for more so I decided to put them here. Just my go-tos are here and they're small enough to fit. And then the last one is going to be my eyelashes. I have a lot of eyelashes. I have eyelashes that I actually need to clean, sanitize and then put them back. So that's why it looks a little empty and I have like the side of this kind of looks like like junk products but it's because um i haven't really found a place for these random things i probably put them in my bathroom like my micellar water this is um a recovery spray for your makeup like why is this scissor here but yeah this is going to be filled with my eyeshadows i mean my eyelashes sorry so this is the final product so my overall review on these for 14 dollars I think that it's a great product. I don't think it took a lot of time for me to put together. It was quite easy to put it together in my personal opinion. Um, and I'm not someone who's like great with putting stuff together. One of my only complaints is that these for some reason like if it's not lined properly here, I find like when I was pulling it out one day like it kind of like fell off and like fell down. Which was weird. So basically means that it's not sized correctly. Maybe I didn't like because you know I had to bend them to put them together. Put them together. Maybe I didn't bend it properly and they're not even enough. So I'm gonna go through each one to make sure that that doesn't happen again because that could be a big mess. You know, taking it off and then it all falls apart. But overall, for the price. For $14 each, it is cheaper than getting one of those fancier IKEA storage makeup holders that everyone uses, and it serves this very same purpose. So I definitely would recommend it for anyone who is starting a little makeup studio or just wants a affordable way to store their makeup where it's still organized. I can still get organizers for these drawers and be able to organize it even better. But for me, this just really has changed the game for me when it comes to applying makeup in my house because not everything is in one place, it's organized, and you know, it's, it's easier for me to just get in front of the camera, create content, and just keep it moving, which What's the purpose of it all? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed me putting everything together and the assembly of everything and how I organized my makeup. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.